as you live in Mortville, you must always consider me your God. And if you ever see me on the streets, fall to your knees and shout, I honor you, Queen Carlotta. Queen Carlotta is, of course, Edith Massey, the queen of Puck Rock, the queen of Fells Point, the queen of the underground for sure, and the most universally loved figure in Baltimore since Brooks Robinson in any of those circles. Even though she plays tyrants, deviants, and other maladjusted types in all of Baltimore's John Waters internationally acclaimed films. Have I made myself perfectly clear? <laughs> she was Queen Carlotta in Desperate Living. Hi, stupid. Hi, ugly. <laughs> she played Aunt Ida in Female Trouble. She played herself in Multiple Maniacs and the role that won her all her fans, the Egg Lady in Pink Flamingos. She also has a thrift store in Fells Point called Edith's Shopping Bag, where she holds court. We'll visit her little monarchy and meet her subjects, and maybe find out that she's not so mean after all. I am mean. <laughs> well, those are only movies. Play act. And the punk rock is play act as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But it's fun to do, and, and I like it, and I like meeting the people. But I've always liked, you know, I always wanted, when I was younger, to be a movie star. But who doesn't? <laughs> you know, who doesn't like all that and all that acting and stuff? Yeah. I was always hoping. It's a show. And I enjoy doing it, though. And it's fun. If I was to scream and yell like I do when I'm on stage and go out in the street and scream and yell, they'd put me in the crazy house, right? This way, it gives me a chance to let out my ambitions. Is that the word? I don't know if it's the right word, but not ambitious, ambitions <laughs> or something. And, and that's it. I like it. I, in fact, you know, I sit here and I can't get the, I can hardly wait to be doing another show. I, I like it. I think it's not nice to say, but I think I like it better than the thrift shop. Well, I met Edie when she worked at a bar in Fells Point called Pete's Hotel. It was sort of like a wino hangout. And a woman friend of mine said to me, you've got to see this woman, and she was right. And I went in, and uh, I asked Edith if she wanted to do a, a part in a film, and she said, uh, yeah, she'd love to do it. You know, she, Of course, she said, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. You had to talk her into doing it. But uh, it was in Multiple Maniacs, and she actually played herself as a barmaid in Pete's Bar. Pete! When I first came to Fells Point, it was very different than now. It was uh, not what you would say the place to go. Nobody was here. I mean, it was, most of the places were closed. They were just neighborhood bars. Uh, the only place where young people went was Pete's Hotel, and that was due to Edith, because uh, it certainly wasn't a lovely place to hang out, but I think drinks were 15 cents or something, which helped. And Edie would slip you a free one every once in a while. I don't know. I've never went to no school or acting schools or, or anything like that. I just try. Do the best I can. That's it. I wish I did have uh, a degree in acting. I'd be a teacher. <laughs> Teach acting. Well, see, when you give a script, we, we do usually scene by scene, or sometimes the entire script, you have X amount of lines or scenes to memorize, depending on the day shoot. So <clears throat> Edith will, it would say, her line and the direction would be underneath, Edith walks to point A. Well, Edith would say her line and then say, Edith walks to point A. She remembered everything that was on the paper, so it's better to give Edith a script with no direction and block her and give her instructions the other way because she tends to want to memorize the instructions also. I got ties up here. Have you heard from Bob? Yeah, ties no. Yeah, a couple. I had. How about this is nice? I used to work on the block and then I worked at Pete's and I'm getting a little older. So uh, my sister, my sister Jackie, I told her I'd like to get into, have a little thrift shop or some, you know. And my sister Jackie, she put up the money, and that's how I got started in the thrift shop, you know. Here's something cute, too, I just got in. Old-fashioned. Oh, yeah, that is real cute. Sometimes I go look for nostalgia stuff, you know. I go to different stores, and, and sometimes somebody will take me out to different flea markets. And then a lot of people bring me stuff, you know. 
and what I can use, then I give it to other people. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, my. Oh, my. That is nice. What year do you think it's from? It's from the 30s. Oh, wow, look. Is that a train? Yep. That is neat. Somebody's going to like this. Edith is basically too nice. I think that would be the best way to describe her. Edie doesn't have a mean bone in her body. I mean, she is the most unvicious person I've ever met in my life. Well, I love the animals and try to help them. People should help them. I think, you know, a lot of people are mean to them. No, they're precious. Well, they don't ever hurt you. They never go to jail. They never get drunk on you. They never hurt you unless they've been mistreated, right? So who's, they're the best friend you have. To me, see, beauty is looks that you can never forget. So I think Edith fits that perfectly. You never think, is that Edith? You immediately know it's Edith. She's instantly recognizable. And I think that's what I like the most about her. And I think uh, her whole look is sort of Nanette Fabre gone berserk, I think. This is a little poem I read, wrote about Bell's Point. I hope you all like it. It's a quaint little place where good people meet, where there's a lot of good places to eat and drink, and an art gallery and theaters that are so neat. It's a Greenwich Village where people can meet, never a stranger on the street. It's a Fells Point, you see. So let's all get to be let's all get together and be merry and have a good time with the people of Bells Point Street by Edith Massey. Well, I bet you didn't know that Edie was a great actress and a poet too. A real triple threat, that Edie. Linnea and I will be back in just a minute. 